Hello and welcome back to the guide for Hard Deathless Fresh Save. This is also the golden routes for this in this case. So I'm going to be finishing up all of these and then going back and doing the non-golden route endings. So for this one, for Roland's chapter, uh, it seems obvious to me the best thing to do is to retreat and have him chase you, like have everyone chase you. Because if we push into this, we're going to die. Like, there's, we don't have enough crowd control. Like, I, I would need Aridor at minimum. And he would have to be, like, light-waved right here. And even then, he could still probably die from the archers and all the spam. So what I'm going to do, it's very simple. I'm going to move all my slow units very far back. So my mages. Pretty much everyone. Everyone's just going to retreat to the right. So you'll see. Pretty, pretty easy strategy. I've beaten this before doing this, and it wasn't very hard. Uh, Yens is good for this map. Um, I've only done the golden route once, just because when I beat the game, setting up the golden route requires you to do specific things, and for my first, like, six game completions, I was just focusing on learning the units for tutorials, so I wasn't really paying attention to um, other things. Uh, Alright, so Archibald's going to need to be way back here. I'm probably going to use Fleet-Footed, to be honest. I think that might make, some, make the most sense. Let's see, switch him here. Okay, let's just go. So for the units, you just want a healer. You want some kind of shutdown. Uh, you want damage, obviously. I don't really have mitigation in this team comp. I have, like, Picoletta as kind of like an off-tank to throw decoys down. The reason why Yens would be good... Oh yeah, Sparrow's on this map. <laughs> We're, we might be light-waving him, so we'll see. They should be pushing us, but we might have to light-wave Sparog to get Deathless here. That's something I didn't really consider. Alright, let's do this. Let's just light-wave him immediately. That's as far back as we can get him. If only I could missed opportunity him. It might make sense to do like a half pull. Where like we have everything just like kind of... So this archer over here is going to push this high ground and be like a menace to us. So let's see. Ice arrow too? Okay. Luckily we don't have Frederica because she's weak to ice. Um, I guess we won't retreat. We'll just hold this position and try to kill Goose it off. Okay, so the winning condition is defeating Gustadov, so a rush strat could work here. We just need to draw him out. Uh, Svarog kind of presents a problem, though. If we can get an opening, if we can kill, like, the mages and some of the bird dudes, that's probably more than enough. Okay, I like that they're not pushing the high ground. We'll kind of just, like, push up here. Then the decoy will start moving up, so I'm gonna throw it here for now. Let me heal your wounds. I'm gonna start hasting Make the damage dealers. Do Maxwell doesn't have revive yet, so if you're using Maxwell, be very careful with him. Uh, Archibald, <laughs> he's not gonna be the best unit on this map. Alright, Svarog, yes, come this way, that's fine. Um. All right, Narv. We'll just put the mages behind everyone. Time to take action. Okay, let's get some battery going on. This is far from taken for I might try using Rite of Rain. I don't know if I really should, but I guess it can't hurt. We have two lightning mages, so you can always freeze the ground beneath me. All right, let's see. Let's get out of it. As long as we're out of the water. I mean, that's a decent pattern. That's enough that if uh, a few of them are standing next to each other, like the, we'll get chip damage from lightning. Their movement's already going to be reduced by one because of the map. Uh, one thing I can do here... I can start connecting these. 
Oh, I don't even need to do that. I can just melt them. <laughs> it's already it's already snow. <laughs> All right, so we can just like run up. Just make sure we're not standing in the water. I can just like do stuff like this. Yeah, this actually would be this. This should be very strong. Connecting all of these because it's all snow. We just need to get rid of the mage, all well, the mages. That's really the big threat here. All right, cool. He's going for the decoy. All right, so I could battery. I could hawk dive. I'll hawk dive. Nice, we got a crit. <laughs> That's pretty good luck. So there is a lot of debate. Well, some people were upset that I used cheese on the one map. Um, here's here's my view on it. If you were fighting to the death, <laughs> you would do everything in your power to win. So that's my stance on cheese. So similarly, let's see, can we hit this guy from here? We can. I don't want to icy breath though. Do I want to do this? Oh yeah, their movement's terrible. And the one guy just got. All right, I'll just shock this dude. But on a serious note, like I know people get like upset about that stuff. Um, it's it, this is for a tutorial. Like I'm doing this as a tutorial and like a deathless playthrough. This isn't like a challenge playthrough. If I was specifically doing a challenge playthrough, obviously I wouldn't I wouldn't use the gimmick strat. Because if you're trying to get a challenge, if you're trying to do a challenge, you wouldn't use gimmicks. Um, but I view it as, like, developer incompetence. Like, if, if there's something in a game that can be exploited, it should be patched out. That's my view on it. So I don't, I wouldn't hold it against anyone if they... Oh, is that actually a waste? <laughs> she, she's gonna regenerate one. I'm, I'm like, thinking she's a veteran. Alright, let's move up here. But if it's in the game, and as long as it's not, like, ridiculous, I think you should use it. Like, multiplayer games, whatever is the best thing in a multiplayer game will, will typically be used. So this notion of um, exploiting the game is just kind of, like, whatever. In my opinion. Uh, I can't really push up too much with Maxwell here. Because I can go here. Here we go. Yeah, we just need to kill these mages. Let's do this. Hop. Hop here. I'm gonna use some of the big boy. There we go. We wanna connect this. We wanna connect the water, the puddles. Alright, so Roland. I could rush here, but I'm not going to be able to get back, <laughs> which is unfortunate. I need to get these units out of the way so he can, like, flash or something. He does have res earring, but, like, this is this is pretty dangerous to do, so. Uh, yeah, I just need a Zana or, like, Milo out of the way. I should have, like, thought about that. I just woke up and it's, like, 5.30, so let's see what we're doing here. Do I just do this? This seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna put him over here. Let me check Svarog's move. Dang, Svarog's gonna rush in, I just know it. I'll put him here for now. He'll have a dead turn. Oh yeah, the other thing was that uh, some push there was some pushback on that dead turn video. Um, so I should have worded it differently. Instead of dead turn, I should have referred to it as consuming a turn. Because I think that was like getting people really bent out of shape. Uh, because the reality... Ooh, that looks good. Except it's gonna hit Maxwell. Whatever. Alright, it's chip damage. The rea So, like, the dead turn thing, it's like, if you're running mages... Like, even just running Azana and, and uh, Narv, they're gonna be catching Julio battery the entire game. So that just causes them to consume more turns than they would normally. That's all it means. So, like, it's not like their turns are necessarily wasted. It's just that it's a slower strategy. So I could have worded it better. Uh, but I think some people were confused by that. And were, like, saying, like, oh, the video... Like, some dude was saying the video was silly and all this other shit. Which isn't really useful feedback, either. Because it's, like, okay. <laughs> it, it, does, it doesn't really make a point. 
Okay, so that guy's retreating for some reason. Alright. Narv. Have a damage buff. Narv and Sarah Noah should switch places over time. This dude's about to nuke us. Freeze. Oh no. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I probably. Well, actually, maybe I should have picked a lot of. Nah, fuck it. We want to deal damage, so. I don't have time for this. Yeah, hit the mage. Good job, Archibald. Okay, that's the decoy. Oh, I thought that was. Okay, I was about to. Have Piccolo to do a thing. Ah, oh, dude, Maxwell's just like. out of position. Dude, we got a 15% paralysis? That's ridiculous. Alright, the only thing that can hit him really. Should be a mage. Alright, let's get Maxwell out of this stupid fucking thing. I can't run through because he can't return. He'll just be stuck out there. He doesn't have res yet, so. Fun stuff. I guess we could Lance Hurl. That's good. We gotta get rid of these mages. I wanna kill the mages and the archers. Here we go. Oh no, Svarog. Actually, Svarog gets paralyzed. That could be. A massive benefit. Nope, he didn't. Alright, we're gonna move her back a bit. Alright, here we go. Now Roland can flash. Unfortunately, it's gonna be on Ice Tiles. Probably. I could go here, but I don't wanna. Alright, actually, from here is fine. Just flash this archer. Then just wait. He has Rezirring, so he can he can literally he can straight up die and that's fine. Alright, Milo. She has Heart Stealer. And I don't think I upgraded it either. But we'll try to grab. I'll go for getting this Elite Blade. Ugh, oh, 64%. Ah, that sucked. <laughs> just whiffed. The Elite Blades are really good, so grabbing one would be huge, but unfortunately we didn't get the RNG. Alright, Saranoa. Here we go, let's do this. That's such a good skill, dude. That's so much better than anything else he has. The decoy's still alive, I'm pretty surprised by that. Alright, so Piccolette in this case. She's, she's almost getting to the point where she is when she's in like New Game Plus. Where she just like spams items. Um, this is a weird angle, as you can see. Like I can't really hit this because of the stupid gate. So this is like a really strange thing. And if I go back here, I won't be able to hit either. Or no, I can. Never mind. I, I forget how insane her range is. Yeah, look at this, <laughs> dude. <laughs> She's like that'd be funny if she damage carries. Cure the decoy again. Better to cure the decoy than her actual units. So as we approach new game. Uh, plus, Piccoletta becomes insane because your economy starts to get better. Alright, then Sparog is looking to throw for us. Um, unfortunately. Alright, if I run through... This is going to look really stupid. This is going to look like the dumbest thing ever. Because it's like... Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> We're going to tandem him, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> So he doesn't die. Alright, Archie boy. He doesn't have... Dude, it feels so bad not having the swift end. Alright, run through again. Oh, he counterattacked on that? That's so annoying. He shouldn't be able to counterattack AoEs. That's dumb. That's so dumb. Alright. Who wants battery? You. Ideally, we'll get some paralyzes off, but it's gonna be hard. Cause Svarog's... Okay. He's not, he's actually not in the thing. Nice, he killed... He specifically blew his all of his TP to kill. What's his face? Alright. So we have, there's two schools of thought here. We can push up... And risk dying. What's his ability? Blizzard... That's probably going to one-shot Narv. So we can attack Gustadolf. I don't think we have enough resources to kill him. But I think going after this blade is fine. And then, like, pushing back. Because we can always melt more ice. 
Because right now, oh, actually, we can't push back too much because of uh, Dum Dum up there trying to throw for us. I can missed opportunity, the boss. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Because they're gonna focus him down. So, oh wait, I can't even do that. <laughs> we can't even do the thing we want to do. Uh, let's see. You can flash through the wall, which makes a lot of sense. Don't think about it. <laughs> Don't think about it. It makes sense. It's fine. Resting wings, good. Yes, attack my units. We, we need to we need to get a tempt off or something. Does she have movement through enemies yet? No, dude, this sucks. <laughs> she did, she can't move through dudes yet. Uh, this will be a lightning rod if I tempt it though. So I'm gonna take this risk because this thing has such low magic defense. Gusasov should attack it if I can tempt it. Oh, come on, dude, 72. This this is why I opted for the cheese strat because it's like if you're gonna try to do this as I'm doing it, like along like if you're using these as tutorials, I would rather show the thing that's going to work than the thing that might work. Right, because like some of the stuff relies on RNG. To get like CC off and shit. So I would rather show the most viable thing. Uh, we're just gonna start connecting these. Alright, let's see what they're gonna do. Uh, Gila's gonna have to push. Where is she even? Oh, she's right here, okay. She's gonna have to sanctuary or cure him. And probably risk getting hit by Gustadolf. Gustadolf, I don't think he can hit Maxwell right now. Let's see what he does. Curious. What are you gonna do? Oh, he's gonna attack him, okay. Sprog is fairly tanky, he should be able to tank this. Yeah, okay, so he just got silenced. Dang. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Dawn Spear. Alright, obviously I want him to catch a heal. Hmm. <laughs> I think I, I think I do want to do this. Dude, I can't get the angle because that's stupid gate. I guess I can do that. I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather hit all th like the three things, but it's still good damage. Alright, retreat please. That's close enough. <laughs> He's, he's kind of ish retreating. Alright, we'll just shoot this dude and move. Holy crap, he learned Inescapable Arrow. Guess what he's gonna be doing now? <laughs> Probably that the whole game. Um, we need some support on the healing, so we'll do this. Alright, that helps. Alright, and then, what is that? Bird? It's like so hard to see because of this stupid gate. Alright, we can kill this bowman, so... I don't want to damage Sfarog anymore, though. Cool, we got a Paralyze off of that? Dude, that's crazy. 21% chance. I don't like how low Sfarog is. And I don't like how if I want to hit something, I have to, like, put my units in like extreme danger, so we'll throw a decoy out pretty soon. Alright, Roland. Yes. He'll just do that. We're just gonna use some items. Alright, Archer's down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, Gustav is, is gonna straight up kill Sparog, as far as I can tell. Unless we heal him. And he might kill Piccolotta, so we'll have to see. Uh, he's out of TP. I might be able to body block him. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, we can body. I can. De I can body. Bo bloody. I can body block him with a decoy. I just have to put it here. 
I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, no, he can move through his own units. I have to make sure he can't go to the other side of him. And he can't. Okay, I should be able to body block with this decoy. And then if not, that's a reset. Obviously, because Smarog can't die. Alright, cool, it worked. Okay, now Gustav is within striking range. So if we just focus all of our resources on him, we should be able to kill him. Alright, and then the idiot needs to get healed. <laughs> and by idiot, I mean the green unit. Very standard, standard stuff. Alright, so we're just going to focus Gustadolf. Okay. I don't care. I like how I'm speeding it up and it's going slower. <laughs> I don't know how this game is laggy. It's like pixel art. Doesn't make any sense. Yes, do nothing. Holy shit. Dude, that's 77 on him from that? Alright, Dawn Spear, what do you got for me? Dude, this guy's about to die. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he's, so, he's so squishy, surprisingly. Alright, let's stay out of the... Let's just Lance Hurl him. For almost nothing. Alright, what does Triple Stab do? Damn, this is doing like no damage. What about magic? Oh, let me see. Oh, he's already in water, so we'll, we'll Triple Thrust him. So the Dawn Spear yet lives. Yes, he does. 40 damage. <laughs> Alright, Svarog. Alright, at least he's kind of- Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, this is how he killed himself in one game. He retreat- he, he, uh, kept attacking one of these. Right, we gotta heal his dumbass. We gotta- we gotta heal him with Julio. Alright, Svarog's about to take some chip. Oh no, he's not, for some reason. Alright, I guess, uh, it's not gonna connect. Oh my god, we paralyzed the boss! <laughs> Dude, the RNG on that! This is exactly why like, I went with the stupid gimmick, because like the RNG on paralyzing the boss is ridiculous. Alright, so... Let's see... So you're a weak bird, huh? Alright, now that we've paralyzed the boss... This, is, this thing's changed. We have two turns of just like laying waste to these fools. <laughs> um... Throw a fire stone, this guy. Good job, Narv. Now get the hell out of there and don't die. <laughs> All right, he's paralyzed, so I didn't need to inescapable him. Uh, I can flash here. Oh wait, no, I can't because this thing's gonna counterattack me because it's annoying as fuck. All right, we're gonna throw a stone at it. These elite blades are very annoying. All right, game. Let's see. Can this work once? Thank you. Jesus. Finally. <laughs> Alright, now the Elite Blade's gonna be helping me kill them. Which I, I like that very much. Dang, dude. Piccoletta can get good damage off with these stupid items. The 600 GP ones? That's not bad. Alright. Dude, he healed himself. Nice. Alright, we need to cure... Uh, dumb. In this case, he's. I'll call him Dumb Spear right now because he's missing revive, so he's just like worse than he usually is. And he's missing upgrades as well because you get him so late. We'll still go for damage on Goose it off though. We'll just, we'll just spam him down with items. He's at half health, so if we can just prevent him from getting healed and just not lose, that would be good. Uh, all right, Julio will heal, heal Svarog. Triple thrust this, I guess. Tempts. Nice. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> Alright, heal. Heal liability. Hit. Oh, hell yeah, dude, he's kiting? Good. Alright, we'll keep going for the paralyze. Okay, got it. Shoot my mage, how dare you. Alright, he, now he's no longer paralyzed, so there goes our big uh, advantage. Alright, at least that archer's almost dead. That guy's still tempted for two turns. So we have to make sure we don't die, obviously. 
Is this lethal? I can't. I don't like when you can't tell it's lethal or not. Okay, it is good. Pierce defenses. All right, we'll just throw a stone at him. The chip damage. Um, turn 13 to turn 12. All right, so Roland should be able to tank a single hit from the boss. We'll flash from here. Jesus, dude. Stop. Stop talking. <laughs> he just keeps, like, saying shit. He's like, Roland! Ah, oh, Roland! Hello there, son. It's like, all right. Relax. Calm down. Bring it down a notch. What turn is that? Two? Can catch a heal from Gila. All right. Throw the decoy. Dude, the decoy exploding does 77. Damn, that's actually good damage. Actually, we might... Wait, hold on, check this out. We might have lethal. That's a Magic the Gathering turn, by the way. I, I used to play that a bit. When you have lethal damage. Alright, let's go here. Hawk dive. Yeah, we got him. So we were able to bait him out. I could have just thrown an item for lethal damage, which probably would have been smarter than what I just did. <laughs> so that's a that's a blunder, so don't do that. Um, Alright, he's gonna Oh, he's gonna heal him now? Oh that, dude, I could have won the match right there. So don't do what I just did there. Just throw the thing. Oh wait, we got here we go. The thing was still oh, he's gonna Holy fuck! <laughs> That's scary. Alright, I think I can kill him. Yeah, Zana can last hit him. Is this it? Or can she? I don't even know. See, that's the thing. Let's see, do I play it safe here? I mean, I have a bunch of turns, so I probably should play it safe here. We have a lot of turns. Sparog goes, gonna smack this. Cool, we got a clash off. Alright, Zana. Yeah, and then whoever can just last hit him. Getting some level ups here. Resting wings. Yeah, she'll just stone. She'll she'll stone him to death. If possible, <laughs> I guess not. It's like he's so close, just dying. All right, bow adept. What do you got for me, buddy? Okay. Ah, oh, come on! I thought he's so accurate. <laughs> it's like the whole thing. Uh, Alright, we're gonna be attacking. Actually, no, we'll throw us down. We'll throw us down. Alright, you're dead. Good game. Good game. Just gonna count my units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, no one died. I just like to make sure. Because sometimes people die and you don't notice because of the, the increased combat animation speed. Uh, this one, this was my first attempt on this, and this is my only, this is my second time doing this map in general. I've only done the golden rat, the golden rat once before, uh, but this strategy seems to be fine. He light waves Farog out of danger. The other thing you can do is you can push up to Farog. I don't think he doesn't. I'm pretty sure he doesn't move for a few turns. So when they wrap around, you can use like uh, Yens and just have him spam traps and just like. Just continually knock everything off the cliff, and it's hilarious, so that's actually probably better. Uh, but if you can hold the high ground and get Sparog to chill out and just fight those things that are up on the high ground, that'll waste some of Sparog's turn, so you can just focus on keeping him alive. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this and found this useful, definitely like the video and subscribe. Uh, you can let me know what you think about the video, or any other videos you'd like me to make. Uh, someone mentioned New Game++ plus plus Deathless Guides. Um, those would actually be easier because you have access to everyone. So you could use this, the strategies in this video, but just like, you know, they'd just be scaled up. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for this one. Thanks for checking this out, and peace.